Hello and welcome back to another edition of Check It Out. Okay, friends, this is video number three. This is um, showing me 24 hours, well, a little bit more than that, maybe 28 hours post-surgery. So I just met with my doctor, got some more information, some really good news and some kind of discouraging news, I guess, a little bit. But uh, I'll talk about that, how the visit went. I've got all kinds of wonderful color and black and white pictures, kind of show you guys... Um, what was going on, what we fixed, and what the prognosis is from here. So first of all, I was going to show you the, the previous videos. I had my legs all wrapped up in all their um, safety harnesses and whatnot. So um, underneath that, I'm just about to put that stuff back on. However, I was going to show you, they have you wear this kind of compression uh, stocking, compression stocking here on my left foot. And I think I wear that for another, I don't know, handful of days or something like that. And then I'll show you, I have most of the bandages off of my leg, and I'll show you the incisions. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. So, I know they're a little bit gross, but boy, that sure is a lot better than having to have a full-blown open surgery on there. So, anyway, here's what the doctor said. Here's basically where I'm at is my procedure was probably a little bit more in depth than the average person's. So this was kind of three things that they took care of here. So number one, I have a labral tear. The MRI and the um, x-rays made it look like it was going to be kind of a smaller labral tear. They did let me know, however, that you don't really know that for sure until you actually dive in and see what's in there. So for my case, he said that once he dove in, he realized that this was a very large tear and that um, they are really happy that we went this decision to go ahead and you can hear I'm, I'm struggling with my speech a little bit on all these different uh, medications and stuff. And I'll talk about those as well. But anyway, so he basically was saying it was certainly the right decision for me to make. And if anything, if I made a mistake out there, if there's a lesson to learn from me, probably to do this surgery earlier. And I'll show you on the pictures how far, how much damage uh, my socket had endured and why you might want to think about getting this done a little bit earlier if you are someone who is in the process of trying to decide to do this or not. So some good news is basically once I put on these devices that keep my feet together, keep my legs together, and then I also have some um, devices that pump this blood, help help uh, pressurize my calves and pump blood. I can kind of move my legs around at night so I can sleep. He was saying that I could sleep uh, face up. I could sleep on my side. So that's good to know that. Last night was very uncomfortable. I probably only slept about four hours, maybe at the most. And also, I think between all the different drugs and whatever else, I was having a lot of stomach problems and my head was hurting. And I have to say, I'm probably 50% better today, but I still feel like I'm out of it. I still feel like I'm on the moon. But uh, anyway, so he said that once that stuff is together, that's good news. He said that for my crutches, I can actually uh, put a very light amount of weight, kind of stepping heel first, and a light, light amount of weight on that leg that was... Uh, the surgical leg. So that's really good news. I was thinking that I had to be completely off of that for a while because we did have to do the micro fracture, which I'll speak to a little bit later. But um, so that is great news as far as I'm concerned. The bad news is because of the micro fracture and the amount of damage that was in there, sounds like I'm going to be at somewhere between six and eight weeks of crutches. We're going to kind of have to see how it goes, uh, especially with the uh, recovery therapy. So that recovery therapy will start uh, or physical therapy will start either Friday or Monday, and today is Wednesday. So just three days after surgery, and um, they want to get me in there to do some, I don't know, some starting physical therapy, and I'll kind of let you know how that goes as well. The doctor did give me a couple exercises to uh, work on. Um, I haven't done them quite yet. I just kind of got home, but basically with my surgical leg, I am going to be... Um, kind of pushing down in this area, almost like you're squashing a grape, like behind your knee, and then also kind of lifting up in this area here. But of course, that's my good leg. I'll be doing it with the leg that had the surgery. Um, 
and obviously everybody's is different, right? So depending on your surgery, maybe your exercises will be a little bit different. But basically I do that a handful of times a day and a handful of repetitions a day. So just something you can kind of think about if you are doing the surgery. So uh, let's get to some pictures. <clears throat> so here is, this is kind of a cool before and after. And there's a whole bunch of pictures, but if you look at this guy here, so here's my hip socket, right? Here's my leg bone. And your leg bone is supposed to have this kind of nice arch, like this is what it's supposed to look like. And you can see up here how mine kind of just goes straight across. That straight across is not how it's supposed to look. So what that's doing is it's causing an impingement. So when my leg goes up like this, this bone is hitting this bone here, causing that impingement. And basically, I think is what he's saying is that impingement is the reason that all this cartilage and all this uh, labrum is getting kind of torn up. So this is kind of the cause and this is sort of the effect, if you will. So that's the before. And then this is sort of the after right here. You can see that they shave down or he shaved down some of this bone to give it that shape that it's supposed to have here. And the rest of these pictures just kind of show that same thing, but I think this kind of shows it the best. So. Again, that before is kind of straight across. The after, they put in that nice shape back into the bone to hopefully um, solve the problem of, of what's causing this so it doesn't happen again. Here's some more pretty cool pictures. So this guy does a pretty nice job of showing how much damage. He was saying, I really had quite a, a bit of damage to uh, the inside of that joint area. And you can see it there. And a lot of fraying going on. And I believe that this is even some of the cartilage that was getting torn up. I'm not 100% sure on that one. But, um, but anyway, he was basically saying that there was a lot more damage than he was expecting to find. And because of that, they did a procedure called a microfracture, which is what we're looking at here. And my understanding is that the microfracture um, is going to... Basically what they do is they drill some holes, a series of very, very small holes. And I believe that's into the hip part of the socket. But boy, I, you know, honestly, I'm not 100% sure on that. But they drill those holes and the idea is that those holes are going to bring on blood flow. And that's what's here. And that blood flow is going to help to hopefully grow back some of that tissue that is um, that has gone away. So that's the whole idea of the micro fracture is drill those holes, brings in blood flow, and hopefully it'll grow back some of that tissue. So kind of cool to see, kind of scary to see. Now you can really see what they're talking about. Here's a few more pictures. Honestly, some of these, I don't even know what they are, but you can see there, there's some stitches going on in there. I assume that's the labrum getting stitched back together. And then he did say some of these are kind of the bone in the socket. And this is where they shaved down. They shaved off part of that bone. That's why it kind of looks that raw color. So that's the bone shaved down. At least I think that's what we're looking at. I'm pretty sure. I don't know what this is. I think this is probably an instrument kind of picking up some of that, uh, you know, sort of frayed, damaged area. And then here's a few more pictures here that kind of show um, some of the stitches and some of that kind of after the surgery. All right, friends. Hey, I hope you liked the video. If you have any questions, if you have this surgery coming up and want to ask anything in the comments, feel free to uh, ask away and I'll do my best to answer them. However, um, obviously, I'm just a patient here. I'm certainly no expert at this, but I can kind of tell you from my perspective how it's going and how the uh, process of getting back to health is going as well. All right, friends. We will see you tomorrow. Bye.